Hey dear everyone, Juan Romero here from Switchwatch with our 10 top Switch bargains this week. We're going to concentrate on indies this week. I know how much you love your indies. Thank you to all of our producers that help to contribute on a monthly basis. We really do appreciate it. And remember, if you do visit www.switchwatch.net, you can buy an eShop card to buy any of the games on this list and be in with a chance to win a £15 eShop card if you do purchase any eShop card of any value and that does help to support the channel let's get into it today then and we're going to begin with ukulele if you love your 3d platformers then ukulele has 85 percent off a nice one to try if you want to embark on an epic adventure and thwart capital b here you have yuka and Laylee. there's a ton of things to do loads of special moves to carry out to get you on your way as well and especially those beautiful worlds are really a sight to behold on the nintendo switch they really do look gorgeous and as i say if you love your 3d platforming games this one is for you which brings us on to ukulele and the impossible layer which is also on sale this week if you really love the ukulele characters then in this 2d hybrid adventure this is also going to be for you this is 2.5d so not 3d and you must roll jump and run your way through a series of challenging levels and face the puzzling overworld and also rally the royal battalion to take down a capital b again levels do offer some rich visuals detail and depth which i really liked really enjoyed this game a lot and there's also alternate level state so if you've got a level figured out you can flip it and it switches to the overworld to create new landscapes. So this one definitely at this price, very much recommended. What can I say about Undertale, which hasn't already been said other than it's on sale. And if you haven't tried it yet, then you've got to check out this in the RPG. Undertale on the Nintendo Switch is fantastic. You get to explore a hilarious and heartwarming world full of dangerous monsters. You can date a skeleton, dance with a robot, and you can even cook with a fisherwoman. Or you can just destroy everybody if that's what you want to do. I really enjoyed this game. If for those of you that haven't tried it, it's on sale now. I really recommend that you download this one because it's a fantastic little game. A little bit different to everything else that's out there. Yoku's Island Express. What a fantastic little game. I call this a Pimblevania. It's absolutely fantastic with some cool little mechanics thrown in where it's like pinball, but an adventure in an open world with some stunning visuals and great gameplay as well as soundtrack. Here you are, Yuku. You're just relaxing on a tropical island, soaking up the sun. And then the ancient island's deities trapped in this restless sleep. It's all down to Yoku to traverse the island using a unique blend of pinball mechanics, platforming, open world exploration, and uh, to help those in need. So here, as I said, you use a unique blend of pinball mechanics, platforming. There's open world exploration too to unlock all of the secrets. Uh, I reviewed this on the channel. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner if you want some more information i think i gave this one a nine out of ten at the time because i really loved it and at this price i bought it at full price at this price well worth downloading if you haven't tried it yet now this is a crowded genre twin stick shooter roguelite elements you've heard it all before probably but i actually really enjoyed this one and for the price right now it's especially good value the evolving dungeon with each run you'll be able to unlock new rooms items bosses their special rules and even new endings and that means that each dungeon is unique and expandable there's also unlimited item synergies as you progress through each dungeon the random item drops will be key in helping you infiltrate the abyss there's also passive effects that can stack between every item and there's also some mini games thrown in really enjoyed this one this one's great on any day of the week just download it uh, brainless fun going under is another game that i really like and was 75 percent off it's a great deal at this moment in time here you're an unpaid intern in the dystopian city of neo cascadia and you'll wield office junk as weaponry as you make your way through the procedural dungeons beneath your company canvas why do you do this well when businesses fail they sink into the earth and the employees wander around endlessly 
as monsters. And here there's loads of cool little things where you can complete tasks for your co-workers to gain clout with them and unlock their unique bonuses. Uh, you get paid in experience too. You'll encounter powerful skills that change the way you play and you can learn them at the CAF. Cool little game and one that I really enjoyed thoroughly. Narita Boy is another game that I reviewed on the channel. Absolutely loved this. I had the soundtrack stuck in my head for weeks on end. Here you become a symphonic in Narita Boy, a radical action adventure as a legendary pixel hero trapped as a mere echo within the digital kingdom. You've got to discover the mysteries behind the techno sword, lock swords with the corrupt and tainted stallions. There's some cool bosses here, loads of exploration. Absolutely love this one from a beginning to end. Well worth investing in. And I think I gave this one a nine, maybe even a 10 out of 10 on the channel at the time. Really did enjoy this particular game. And as I said, cannot recommend the soundtrack enough. King of Seas, when I reviewed this, I thought it had its problems, but it was a game that I really thoroughly enjoyed. As you take your ships out to sea, you're continuously getting into battles. It's a procedurally generated world. It constantly refreshes the exploration mechanics within each new game. Now, the navigation system, there's atmospheric effects that influence gameplay. You can sail during a storm at your own risk, escape enemies, and always remember to carefully watch the wind direction to stay in control during battles. And that's where the strategy comes in. You can customize your ships. There's five types of highly customizable ships through uh, equipment and skill system, just as any role-playing game. And there's 20 skills to choose from as well three branches of talents to suit most play styles. As I say, really enjoyed this one. It has its issues. If you want to watch my review, I'll put the link in the top right hand corner for you. Now I really enjoyed Ocean Horn when it came out on the Switch. Ocean Horn 2 has changed quite dramatically. Full 3D now, an epic RPG quest. It's got over 20 hours of gameplay. There's some massive boss fights here, loads of side quests and puzzles to solve and mysterious dungeons to explore. I found it rather a beautiful game as well. Very, very decent on the Nintendo Switch. If you like these types of games, then this will definitely be for you. And I also recommend trying out Ocean Horn, the original. As I say, the styles are different, but both games very good indeed. Now, Blasphemous is a game that I will recommend whenever it's on sale, and it's on sale again with 75% off, really cheap. If you want a challenging, non-linear world to explore, then Blasphemous is the game for you. The combat is absolutely brutal. You can customize your build by discovering and equipping relics, rosary beads, prayers, and sword hearts. There are loads of combinations for you to find your best play style. And best of all, the boss battles are epic in scope, absolutely huge, dwarfing your character. Great game, especially for those that like worlds dark and twisted, and it has one of its biggest sales for a while. Now, if you really enjoyed this video, I really appreciate it. If you hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and you like everything Nintendo Switch related. Remember to check out www.switchwatch.net. You can buy eShop cards there in any region and you'll be entered into an automatic prize draw. Thank you to all of our producers that continue to support us on a monthly basis, our subscribers. And if you're still watching, you're an absolute legend. You have no idea how much it helps us with our videos really do appreciate it it's good to be back hope you're all well i'll see you again on the next one